Yes, I do. Okay. We were given a $500 donation from one of our members. And our board got together and we did, we thought about what could we apply this to that would really benefit getting more plants out there in our you know native plants. And so we decided that anyone individual who purchases a full tray will get $10 off that tray this year. So they'll be $10 cheaper. So I mean, and then if you're a member, of course, you get a 15% discount. So join Let's Hills Wild Ones and also order full trays and get that $10 benefit. And that's it. And Elisa, are you gonna do more or are you yep. stopping? Nope, I'm on next. Okay. Okay, thank you, Diane. That's a that's a fabulous offer. And like you said, we hope everybody takes advantage of it. We want to see everybody get a whole tray of plants and get them in the ground. Um, so with that, I'll go back to the screen share. We'll see how this works. Okay. So moving on, um, want to show you a little bit about where you can find information about our plant sale. Um, this is our homepage of our Lust Hills Wild Ones uh, website. Uh, you can see the URL up here, lusthills.wildones.org. Uh, the plant sale is the se second tab from the left. So you just click on that tab and you'll see our um, our web page here, uh, hopefully the scroll isn't too difficult for you, but uh, you can see that there's, there's quite a bit of information on this page. So when you want to find out more about our plant sale, uh, definitely come on to this page. So just an overview, um, you can see uh, there's a couple links up here that Diane and Carrie will talk about later. Uh, so we'll just keep passing through. Uh, in a few weeks, we'll have an online plant sale order form in the February timeframe. Um, and we'll make an announcement when that's ready. It's in the works, not quite ready yet. Um, if you're looking for the order form, the paper order form that we've distributed in the past, that's right here. And we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Um, as Diane noted, all members receive a 15% discount. So if you are not a member and you're interested in receiving that discount, join us. Join us, and the minute after you join us, buy some plants and get 15% off. Um, the plant sale is currently running. I should have showed you that up top here. It's active through March 31st. We're accepting orders. And the pickup for the plant sale this year is the weekend of May 15th in Sioux City, Iowa. So um, although we know there's some people who were interested in attending this program from say Chicago or Detroit, um, and we hope you do gain something out of this program. If you're not um, in the mood to drive all the way to Sioux City, Iowa or know somebody near Sioux City, Iowa, you probably, um, will not want to pick up your plants from us. Um, the other thing to note is there's an application here. We'll go through that in a minute. Um, if you have any questions, always reach out to us, lusthillswildones at gmail.com. It's right here. And if you're not yet on our mailing list, you can join it here. Um, on the website, there's a series of photos and information. I won't I'm just going to scroll through these because Diane's going to go through these each and every one of her slides here in a few minutes. And then at the bottom is a fact sheet on trees and shrubs and the four shrub trees and shrubs that are on our list this year. So um, with that, I uh, just want to step through our plant order form this year. For those of you who have ordered in the past, you'll notice that it is somewhat similar to years past. Um, it has 
the name of the plants that are for sale. It has some information about the plants that we could fit on there. And then if you want to order, here's the quantity ordered here. This is if you want to fill out uh, a paper order form, you use this form. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll have an online order form, but you can also download this and use it, mark it up, use it for your reference. So um, these are the plants, scroll through there. At the bottom are the trees and shrubs. The photos are on our website. Um, and then similar to before, this is the how to order section. Um, like Diane said, we are discounting our trays of 32 plants. For members, it's $86. For non-members, it's $102. If you want to buy individual plants, that's fine too, $3 each or $3.50 each. Um, so are there any questions about the order form before we move on? Okay, then um, hearing none, we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the plant tray special application. Dottie, do you want to uh, speak to this? I do. I didn't know you were going to put that up on the screen. Yeah, there you go. Unless you wanted to have it shared. Well, I had something else to say. So did you want me to just read that or do you want me to say what I... Never mind. I'm... No, 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 no. You should say what you're planning to say. I'm just okay. basically showing everybody here. I'll flip back to here that you, if you're looking for this form after Dottie tells you why you, you might care about this form, um, he, here on the website, it says Siouxland organizations, click here to fill out an application. When you click here, it opens up to here. This is the, the form that you fill out and Dottie's going to tell you more about our offer. Okay, do we have a deal for you? Shortly, you're going to learn about the rollout of the native plant sale. But you know, in wild ones, we always want to expand habitat for pollinators. So this year, we will greatly discount these plants for Siouxland organizations um, to use on their property. So what would be an organization, a nonprofit, a school, a church, a community center, a retirement community, maybe a public garden, maybe a public park, and maybe just a public area that you would like to see some native plants glorifying in. So we invite you to apply for one or two trays of 32 plants each at the discounted price, and now there's a drum roll, $25 per tray. That's 32 plants each, $25 per tray, and a maximum of two trays. Now, if you want more trays, you would have to pay that new discounted price. You can choose your own plants, or we can help you customize your order. So this application you are now looking at, which is online, on our website, I should say, we need just some basic information from you, uh, who, who uh, we would contact, what the name of the organization is, um, where your site is, where on your property are you going to plant this garden, and what's the size of your garden? Uh, and most importantly, who is going to maintain this garden? Um, applications must be received by February 15th, and you will be notified by March 1st if your garden has been uh, approved. Um, I would hustle with this um, application and um, talk to your organization and take advantage of this very generous um, offer and opportunity for you. So thanks, Lisa, for having all that available for people to look at. See, it's not too difficult to fill out. 
Okay, and right. with that, I turn it over to Diane and Carrie. Well, Diane, I'll go ahead and um, share my spreadsheet. Um, it just takes a few seconds to get the to get the screen share thing going. So give me just a second here. Okay, so I hope you guys can see the spreadsheet here. So I designed this with um, with the intent that it be manipulated. So the way you'll first see it is it's an order by botanical name and that's how the slides today are going to be presented but let's say you are looking you know you're looking for maybe some shorter plants for along kind of like along your sidewalk and it's it's a shady area so what you can do is you select you select the names of the of the plants um, you don't want to select the headers um, you'll, you'll figure out why if you try it <laughs> and then you want to sort by um, so we were looking for shady plants. So let's sort by column E so we get the shade plants up there. And then, you know, part sun works too. So we'll do um, column D. And then, you know, I want shorter plants. So I'm going to sort then by, by the height, by the size. And so that's going to be column N. And click OK. And so now here at the top, I have all the, the plants that are gonna do well in shade. So now I can look through here and I see, okay, well, these are all 12 inch here. So, you know, those are, those are contenders. Um, probably not this 36 incher though. I'm not gonna wanna put tall bellflower right next to the sidewalk or shorts aster probably. Um, down here you get into, you know, here's the six inchers. And I say, oh, wow, well, calico aster, that's, you know, six to 24, that's kind of a big, big range. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna look at, look at the comments and notes and see what that says. It says, well, this one can be cut short and it'll still bloom. So even though it says six inches, I can keep it you know, cut to six or eight inches or however tall I want it to be and it'll still bloom and it'll still feed the bees. So that's just a quick, a quick tutorial on how to use this um, to kind of, kind of help narrow down some of your choices. The other feature I'd like to point out is the blooming period Note that we do try to match the color of the blooms um, in the fields here. So that can help you figure out, you know, if you really want some, some, some blue or purple plants, you're going to know right away which ones to consider. And we have other, some other information such as, um, what, you know, what form it takes, um, how aggressive it is. Some of these you're not going to want in your urban garden. Um, so for example, anything with an A is going to be too aggressive. You're not you're not going to want to use that or you're going to, want to do a lot of research before you decide if it's appropriate. Now some people are looking to fill space, you know, they're looking to, you know, to, to help kind of crowd out some invasives or they just have a wide swath that they need, they need to put something in and that's when you're going to maybe want to consider some of the aggressive species, but you're going to want to be careful with those. Um, so we'll, I'll just leave that at that. Um, we did put a lot of work into this, Diane and I did. Um, so do, you know, so do refer to it. We have a lot of information here in the comments and notes as well. Um, if you have any problems with it, uh, let me know and I'll try to try to figure it out for you. Yeah, um, Carrie put in a tremendous amount of work on that, you can imagine. And I, I would make um, maybe two more comments. Like if you're looking at tall plants, plan your garden, get it on paper, look at your place, tall plants, those, like if you have an island, the tall plants would go in the middle and then medium size and then shorter plants. But if you're looking out your kitchen window and that's where your island is right out there, you might wanna have the tall plants at the back of the island because of your perspective that you're gonna be enjoying it. So there are various things to consider. And also maybe your tall plants, maybe you just want them by the back fence or by the alley or something like that. So. So these are really important. And also the blooming things, you don't wanna put all of your early bloomers together because otherwise you're gonna have this part of the garden that's spectacular in the spring. And then later on, it's just, huh, you know, while well, other things bloom. So there's a lot of considerations, but using this tool 
you will be able to to ace it. That's what I would say. Diane, I have okay. one more one more thing I want to share. I forgot about the the uh, the 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 document. It helps. You know, we say you know it's good for good for sun, good for shade. Well, what is sun and shade? What are what's a clay soil? How do I know if I have clay soils? So Diane and I put together this document um, that actually defines the term many many of the terms, all the headings, and some of the other terms that we use um, in the in the spreadsheet. And it goes pretty much in order. Common name explains the botanical name. Here's your sun exposure, um, and then your soil. And soil moisture, I, it can be difficult to figure out too. Um, so that is a resource that you can refer to as well when you're trying to figure out what kind of, what kind of environment you do have. And there we go, that's the end of it. Okay, are you done, Carrie? I am done. Okay, yeah. And remember, what a benefit your native plants will provide, especially to pollinators and birds, while they soak up rain, lessening runoff, as well as the pollution caused by fertilizers, pesticides, and lawnmowers. Just think, they're great. And now I would like to have Ruth share a poem that she wrote. Ruth is our homegrown national park coordinator, and she's the Les Hills Wild Ones Poet Laureate. <laughs> well, thank you for that introduction. I appreciate that very much. And I, my poem is called Nature is Right Here. I learned a thing or two this year. Be patient and slow down. I learned to look at my own space and value my own ground. I knew that nature was in parks and wildlife preserves, but one thought entered my thick brain, that's not all she deserves. I learned to look right here at home. I planted a pot for bees. I planted Les Hills Wild Ones plants. I spread free native seeds. My dearest treasured friends chipped in built habitat from sticks and wood. I made some new friends in my yard and in my neighborhood. They spread seeds too and spread the word that nature is right here, right on my deck, right in my yard. The message was quite clear. Right here, I can make homes for birds, for butterflies and bees, for fireflies to light my space by planting native shrubs and trees by learning plants that beautify, protect runoff for waterfowl, by changing bulbs that light the night to ones safe for moths and owls. I learned a thing or two this year. I saw my space anew and nature is right here for me. I hope it's right for you. Take it away, Diane. Thank you, Ruth. <laughs>